Hi. Back in 2019, we had a Peugeot. But not just any Peugeot, it was a cool Peugeot. It was a Peugeot 207cc. We only had it six months before it died. During our ownership of this car, we did make a cool Top Gear styled video as a bit of a joke. This footage never aired because, well, I thought it wasn't that good. But turns out it's actually really good. So this following VT is our version of a Top Gear inspired episode. Enjoy. Are we filming? Let's see what she can do. So most of you probably know that I drive a Ford, but today it's all about the Peugeot and we're going to show you why the Peugeot is better than a Ford. <laughs> Outstanding! Oh, he's coming back, but there's a car. Go, go! Oh Christ, I nearly fell over. That road is slippy AF. <laughs> oh, bit of torque steer. <laughs> Five and a half thousand RPM. <laughs> 60 miles per hour. Five and a half change. <laughs> Oh god, it's getting a bit wobbly. This is third gear. Okay. Right, foot to the floor. Here we go! 5,000 RPM. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. See how it handles those bumps really well. Oh, that's so good. And that's why you should buy a Peugeot 207cc. Let's get to Georgie's top five things about the Peugeot 207cc. May I have to wait top five things? I don't know. Top five things about this car that I like. Number one, it's got a nice rear. It's nice. Number two, this car, you could fit anything in it. Put a roof down. And then, um, well, you could just put anything in it because there's, there's no limit. This, this is probably one of the biggest cars in the world because you just put anything in here and <laughs> plenty of room. Uh, someone said, does she take third in the wet? What? <laughs> 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 having two cars in one had a soft top now I've got hard top so one thing that's important to anyone when you're picking a car is space right you want to know that you've got space to drive leg room space to put your luggage when you go on holiday and for us that was also very important um, and as you can see here Tom over here in the driving position I mean what do you make of it in the in the cabin over there uh, that is very good um, it's perfect for the driving position for me, this is how I normally drive. Um, the seat doesn't go low enough, but it does make up for that in having ample headroom. So, I quite enjoy it for that. That's a very important factor, headroom. Um, but not only have you got lots of space in the front, it's a four-seater. And, you know, your rear passengers have got ample room too, really, haven't they? Should we, should we show them? Yeah. Let's show them. So, what we do here is, we ask Tom to get out. 
So you just fold the seat back and then climb in the rear here and then, oh, yeah, if you just, that's it. Oh, I mean, yeah, something's, something's not quite right here. My, no, hang on, sorry. <laughs> sorry about this, everyone. <laughs> oh, let me just climb over here. Okay, and um, we're all in. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> do you mind going forward a little bit? Uh, yep. That would be uncomfortable if I went any further. It's just, it's just I can't actually get my legs down. Okay, well, you get, you get your legs down. Okay. And then I'll go back. That might be easier. Okay. Right, are your legs in? Yeah, right, yeah. My legs, my legs are in. Okay, try, I'm going to go back. Now. I'm going back to my comfortable position. Oh, oh well, that's that's quite uncomfortable now. Okay, well, well I'm uncomfortable because I can feel your knees in my back. Okay. Um, sorry, go forward again. <laughs> go forward again. Okay. okay, try this. Let's try that. Oh! <laughs> oh, is that good? Yep, that's... There we go. That's fine, yep. Have you got, you got plenty of space in the back there? Plenty. Plenty, yep. I don't see why I'd need any more. Yep. What about you? You got space up there? Oh, yeah, I mean, a bit further forward than I would like, but it's, um, it's okay, yep. And you're not too close to the headrest there? Well, no, that's fine actually. I, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. All right. Let's go. Okay, it started. It started. <laughs> Sorry, you, you have you you have just left my handbag on the floor Ooh. back there. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can get that for me. Oh. <laughs> okay. To summarise, then, uh, if you want a car that is fast, looks good, is reliable, is comfortable, and you know gets all your friends turning their heads like wow. Um, basically, if you want a car that's good in any way, don't buy that one.